Hi, it's Sarah Lynn. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful die cut card. It's using a Sizzix floral die as the card front. Add some embossing powder, rhinestones, and you're all done. Check out this video and I'll show you how I made it. To start the die cutting of this card, I'm going to cut two sheets of cardstock to about four inches wide. I'm using passionate and gold metallic cardstocks made by Basil. Four inches wide makes sure that the die fits perfectly across the cardstock. I'm now going to run the dies through my Big Shot machine, each of them going through twice. I want to make sure this intricate background die cuts all the way through each of the cardstock pieces. Now comes the fun and a little tedious part. There's going to be a lot of little cardstock pieces stuck in your die here. So I'm using a paper piercer to get out all those pieces. If you have a die cut brush, that would work even better at moments like this. This is the floral lattice background die made by Sizzix and it comes with two large background pieces. As you can see, the gold one is a little thicker and it's kind of going to be a shadow behind our pink pieces. Now I'm going to apply glue to the back side of the pink die cut background. I'm using a liquid glue here, so I'm making sure I have my non-stick mat underneath the pieces that I'm using. This way if I get glue onto the mat, I can just wipe it all up and I don't get glue onto my work surface. I applied liquid glue to only the top half of the pink die cut piece and adhered it to the gold. Now once that's adhered together, I'm gonna go back and then put glue onto the bottom half of the pink and secure that to the gold cardstock. I didn't want my glue to dry out too much while I was applying glue to the whole piece, so that's why I did a half at a time. Now I'm gonna go through and die cut the phrase, thinking of you, out of white cardstock. I'm going to do this twice and adhere the two pieces together. Later on, I'm going to be embossing over the top of this, so I want to make this die cut word as sturdy as possible. So I'm using a heavy duty white cardstock and die cutting the phrase twice and gluing together for added stability. And also a little dimension. I'm going to use my liquid glue again to adhere both of the thinking of you sentiments together. Now it's time to emboss on the top of this. I like this technique because it gives the word a little bit more dimension as well as some sparkle and shine. To do this, I apply a little bit of tape to a scrap strip of cardstock and adhere my sentiment die to the top of that. You want something to hold on to as a heat gun is going to get really hot and you don't wanna hold on to the die itself and burn your fingers. Then I'm going to dab the top of the word into my Versamark embossing ink. Make sure it's completely covered. Next, I'm going to apply my gold tinsel embossing powder to the top of the word. I apply a generous amount as I put a piece of scratch paper or a tray under it, and then you dump the glitter right back into the jar. Once the dye is completely covered with your embossing powder, use a heat gun to heat set it. When using my heat gun, I hold it onto one area of the embossed image until you see the embossing powder start to turn. It'll either turn a different color or you'll see it start to kind of gloss over. Then I slowly move the heat gun across the area that needs heat setting and keep moving it until the entire area is done. Remember your heat gun does get very hot and even the embossing powder itself will be sticky and hot to the touch. It's easy to miss a few spots when doing this technique, so I typically do this twice. Plus it adds just a little bit more gloss and shine. Next I'm gonna die cut a three inch circle three times out of the darker pink shade of cardstock. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my card base. This is just a lighter shade of pink that I think complements the darker pink and gold very well. I'm going to cut the cardstock down to four and a quarter by five and three fourths inch size. Then I'm gonna score a quarter inch strip along the long side. The rest of the front of our card is going to be that floral background die. 
Now I'm going to apply liquid glue to the back of one of the dark pink circles and adhere it to the front of that die cut piece. Now I'm going to place a second circle on the back side of this die cut piece, directly behind the circle we just glued down. I feel like that gives it a little bit more of a finished look when you go to open your card. Next I'm going to use the liquid glue again to adhere the thinking of you sentiment word to the front of our card. To make this die cut piece the front of our card, I'm going to take a piece of score tape and put it along the very thin strip that's along the top of our die cut piece. I'm then going to use a scissors to cut off any excess score tape. Now I'm going to take off the paper backing of the score tape and adhere it to that little scored quarter inch strip that's on our card base. Next, I'm going to take that last darker pink circle and use a tape runner to adhere it to the inside of the card. I'm going to make sure it's placed perfectly behind the circle that's on our die cut card front. This is where I'm going to write the sentiment to who I'm going to send the card to. That way you can't see any writing through the die cut front of the card. Lastly, I'm going to apply some gold rhinestones around the thinking of you sentiment around our card front. Just adds a little extra sparkle to our card. And you're all done. I hope you had fun making this fun die cut card. Thanks for watching and have fun card making. For more project ideas, go to crashcheck.com projects.